Hello everyone, my name is Lynn Nasrallah and today I'll be presenting on the fascinating role of ceric ammonium nitrate in organic compound analysis. So let's start by doing an introduction of the ceric ammonium nitrate test as a chemical test method for detecting the presence of alcohols in organic compounds. This test utilizes a yellow ceric ammonium nitrate reagent that forms red complexes with various types of alcohols allowing for their identification. The test can be performed on both water-soluble and water-insoluble compounds, making it a versatile tool in organic chemistry. Next, let's talk about the procedure for water-soluble compounds. For water-soluble compounds, add 4-5 drops of the liquid unknown or 0.1 to 0.2 grams of solid to 1 milliliter of ceric ammonium nitrate reagent. Mix thoroughly and observe if the yellow color changes to red. Alcohols react to form a red cerium 4 compound. If a red color develops, watch for it to fade as oxidation occurs. If no change is noted within 15 minutes, allow the mixture to stand for several hours or overnight Note any gas evaluation. Next, we'll be talking about the procedure for water insoluble compounds. For water insoluble compounds, first prepare a dioxane solution of the reagent. Add 2 ml of dioxane to 1 ml of ceric ammonium nitrate reagent. If the mixture remains yellow or light orange, it can be used. Divide the solution, keeping half as a control, to the other half. Add 4 5 drops of liquid or 0.1 to 0.2 grams of solid. Mix truly and observe for color change as in the water soluble procedure. After that, we'll be talking about the reagent preparation. To prepare the ceric ammonium nitrate reagent, add 1.3 ml of concentrated nitric acid to 40 ml of distilled water. Then, dissolve 10.96 grams of yellow ceric ammonium nitrate in this dilute nitric acid solution. Once dissolved, dilute to 50 ml. The test is carried out at room temperature. 25 degrees Celsius. This reagent is usable for about a month. For water insoluble compounds, an alternative reagent can be prepared by dissolving 0.43 grams of ceric ammonium nitrate in 2 ml of acetonitrile. By then, we'll be talking about the chemical reactions or the reaction mechanism. The ceric ammonium nitrate test involves a series of reactions. Initially, the alcohol forms a complex with the ceric ion. This is followed by oxidation of the alcohol, which causes the red color to fade. The overall sequence for a primary alcohol includes a formation of the red complex, oxidation of the alcohol to aldehyde, and further oxidation to a carboxylic acid. The rates of these oxidation steps depend on the structure of the hydroxy compound. Let's see the reaction times and color changes. The initial reagent, the ceric ammonium nitrate solution, is initially yellow-orange in color. The red complex formation, upon addition of an alcohol, a red complex forms indicating a positive reaction. Oxidation to aldehyde, as the alcohol is oxidized to an aldehyde, the red color fades and a green color appears. Further oxidation, the final oxidation to a carboxylic acid results in a yellow or colorless solution. Now, let's talk about the reaction time for different compounds. The time required for CE4 complexes to be reduced to colorless 
CE3 varies significantly depends on the type of alcohol. Primary alcohols like methanol react in seven hours, while one decanol takes 12 hours separately. Secondary alcohols such as 2-propanol react in six hours. Tertiary alcohols like tert butyl alcohol take over 48 hours. Diols, triols, and polyols generally react faster with glycerol, taking 10 minutes. Carbohydrates react quickly with glucose, taking only 30 seconds. Let's move on to the positive and negative tests. Positive tests are indicated by the formation of a red complex, which may fade over time. The intensity of the red color decreases as the molecular weight of the alcohol increases. Negative tests are shown by the retention of the yellow color of the reagent. Pure aldehydes, ketone saturated and unsaturated acids, ethers, esters, and ditribasic acids produce negative tests. Special cases, some compounds like oxalic and molanic acid reduce CE4 to colorless CE3 without forming a red complex. Finally, let's talk about the special considerations and limitation. The test has some special considerations and limitation. Basic aliphatic amine causes precipitation of white ceric hydroxide, but can be tested if dissolved in dilute nitric acid. Alcohols containing halogens give positive tests. Very insoluble alcohols of high molecular weight fail to react and not give a red color. Long chain alcohols, C12, can be tested using acetonitrile solution of ammonium hexanitracitrate at its boiling point 82 degrees Celsius. The test is particularly useful for detecting the, pre the presence of hydroxyl groups in organic compounds. Thank you very much. This was the, my presentation for today. Let me know if you like it.